Whoa. It's like, I can't believe it. It's literally gigantic. Yeah. You know what? Actually, I think I know what it is. It is! Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Today in this drawing tutorial. Wow! Papi, right. to, 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 to. Ow, I'm gonna poke my eye with these. <gasps> We're going to be drawing a gigantic giraffe. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we are going to be drawing a gigantic giraffe. So here we go. Gigantic giraffe. Something to draw with, something to color with. Grab your faves, whatever you would like. And we're making it up on the spot because that's what we do on the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Gigantic giraffe. We're going to start off with gigantic giraffe's uh, head. Start it off with some horns with one, two curving knobby horns at the top. And we're drawing them on a diagonal. We're going to have a head gigantic over here on one side. Okay, connect. Uh, we're gonna do the ears real quick. Two curving lines out, just like that. Then a little line along the top. And of course, anytime you need me to stop or slow down, just hit that pause button and hit play when you are ready to continue. Okay, two lines down. And then big, sort of rounded rectangle shape or oval shape for the snout. And in that, we're gonna draw one, two ovals. On one side, we're gonna draw another curving line. And then we're gonna color in the dark of the nostrils, leaving just those curving little areas, nice and white. Well, that add a little detail there. It's like the inside of a nostril, yum. All right, extend the ears or the head up in front of the ears here. Then we're gonna do like a crazy eye. So one big circle for one eye. And then like, let's do one smaller circle for the other. A smaller circle and in the big circle, we're gonna draw two circles, almost the same size. And then in each of those, another circle that's small. And then you can color in the dark of the eyes, just leaving those little tiny circles nice and white. Mm-hmm, yepperoni. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, the rest of the, <laughs> we need the rest of the giraffe. Okay, let's do this big. Crazy neck, wherever you want it to go in the page. You do you, this is my neck. Then I'm gonna go up, I gotta follow that now. I'm gonna draw a parallel line to that first line, however I decided to draw it. Here's my look different on yours. This is a gigantic giraffe, so it's crammed on our paper because there's nowhere to go because it's so big. We're making it fit so that it ships. Okay, curvy <laughs> line down <laughs> for the back. And bring that front line down to the front. Okay, let's do like that. To either, ah, let's go right down to the bottom of the page. Let's just use a baller paper today. Boom! Okay, two lines on either side. And we're gonna make a nice rainbow in between. Oh yeah, you know that shape. That is some basic skills shape. Okay, little tail, do, do, do. And a little tail with little hairs. Add little feet. And then if you want to be extra detailed, you can add the second leg sort of peeking out, but shorter, because they're further away. And to make them farther away, make things look smaller. Okay, color in those hooves. 
or toes or whatever they got. Okay. Add some spots. Why? Well, it is a giraffe. They got spots. You can put your spots wherever you want to put your spots. Okay, once you're done adding your spots, you're ready to color in your gigantic giraffe. And you can use whatever you want to color with. And once you're ready, go ahead and color in gigantic giraffe. And once you're done coloring in your draft, your gigantic draft is done.